So in this video we will start to study the titrations of strong acids and strong base. So first what is the titration? So titration is a common laboratory method of quantitative chemical analysis. So basically this is a uh, technical definition that this is a common laboratory method or uh, technique which to quantify the chemical analysis and uh, in titration we can also say that titration is a technique to determine the concentration of unknown solution by slow addition of solution of known concentration. So suppose we have one uh, solution whose concentration we know and in another beaker we have uh, another flask we have unknown solution. So A and B so determine the concentration of unknown solution will be like B and known addition of solution to the known concentration of solution will be like A. So if you know the concentration known solution known concentration and unknown concentration. So B will be unknown solution. unknown concentration of solution. So titration technique is used to identify the or determine the concentration of unknown solution and first we will study about the strong acid and strong base. So in titration basically uh, titration is a neutralization reaction which occur in the water and uh, the simplest example is this acid base when they react they form salt and water. For an example, a strong acid HCl and a strong base sodium hydroxide when they react they form sodium chloride salt and water. Right. Another example is sulfuric acid H2SO4 and calcium hydroxide when they react they form calcium sulfate and water molecule. Here is one important thing uh, that uh, you can see basically sodium is binding with the chloride ion and hydrogen is binding with the hydroxyl ions to make the water. So that is why it is called the proton transfer reaction. And sodium and then hydro HCl when dissociating to water it give only one proton, one proton plus one chloride ion. When H2SO4 dissociating to water ions it give two hydrogen ion and one sulfate ion. So HCl is called monoprotic acid, monoprotic acid. And sulfuric acid is called the diprotic, diprotic acid because it is giving two protons. So this is the uh, titration is usually between the acid base and form salt and it produces the uh, water. So this is the simple understanding and example. Next is uh, we will see some another example and practice for the salt solution. For an example, if we are going to react with uh, sodium hydroxide and acetic acid, what will form? So basically here sodium acetate will form and CH3COONA sodium acetate will form plus uh, water will form. Right. So what will happen basically we can use this red pen to 
sodium hydroxide uses the Bay hydroxyl ion and proton will come from the acetic acid to give the water and sodium ion will react with the acetate ion to form sodium acetate and here this is a strong base this is weak acid and this is salt this is water right so this is a neutralization reaction what happened with the SCL so SCL with ammonia it form ammonium ion NH4 plus chloride ion minus so what happened basically nitrogen have one lone pair of electron and it takes proton from the SCL to form ammonium ion similarly in case of methylamine when it react with the SCL these lone pair electron take proton to form methyl ammonium ion CS3 NH3 and plus chloride ion so these are the some acid base reaction example and uh, related to titration let us see how we do the titration in the lab. So, if you have already done in the lab you know but if not then we can understand here. Basically, there are some common glassware which is called uh, Elmire flask. Here we have this is flask and this long graduated cylinder is called burette and here usually we fill known concentration of a standard solution added to the unknown solution and in the burette we fill this is the burette this is the burette and we fill known concentration of solution known concentration of solution and in the flask we have a solution of unknown concentration so what we do we add one indicator usually phenophthalene in this case because it is giving the pink color so phenophthalene when we add and when we add slow addition slow slow addition of known concentration solution and once you will shake it then it will neutralize and keep adding suppose you added 2 ml and then 3rd ml 4th ml so as reaction work it reaches to the neutral point the pH shows pink color and slowly the pH color will be gone but once it will reach to the equimolar concentration this pink color will persist so the indicator changes color when end point is reached and what is the meaning of end point end point is related to but not the same as equivalent point equivalent point means stoichiometrically equivalent amount of acid base so basically equivalent point means like one mole one mole if you remember this equation m1 v1 equal to m2 v2 we are going to use this equation a lot in this um, titration so this is the basic uh, theory about the titration and here is one example for 
SCL plus NOH. If we have one mole in 10 ml, we need one mole 10 ml of base to neutralize each other. We can use M1V1 equal to M2V2. And if we do not know the concentration of NaOH, we will fill the burette with the acid. We will drop slowly into the NaOH concentration once the color, once this M1V1 will be equal to, then color will persist. So this is the example and uh, the theory about the pH titration concentration. Let's see another thing that what is the meaning of equivalent point. Equivalent point means equivalent point in a titration occur when enough titrant has added has been added to react exactly with the substance in the solution being titrated. So this is pH like 0 here is 14 and this pH is suppose this is 7 right. So here we have started with the acid so we are adding acid into the base acid into base and where is the base base is here. So this will be in the burette acid in the burette right. So what will happen to this uh, titration as you will start adding equivalent point titration occur when enough titrant has been added to react exactly with the substance in the solution being. So here this is the point where we can say M1 V1 is equal to M2 V2 and you will get the uh, neutral pH. This is we are basically talking about a strong acid and a strong base only. With the weak acid weak base it changes whole graph changes. So SCL, NOH, salt and water this if we will do titration for the SCL, NOH we will get this kind of graph. If we are going to do SCL with calcium hydroxide we will also get the same kind of graph. Here is one important thing as we have seen in the previous slide that SCL will give one proton and calcium hydroxide when it will dissociate it will give you calcium plus 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 two hydroxyl ion. So this is called bi dibasic di basic base and suppose if we got this kind of graph what will you understand suppose we got this kind of graph sigmoidal carb graph this is opposite one. So it means that you are starting from the base you have known concentration of the base and you are adding to the acid to find out the concentration of acid right. Here we are finding the concentration of base. So this is the some detail about the um, graph. Let us talk a little bit more about strong acid, strong base, neutralization. How we are going to calculate the pH? Reaction proceed to completion, no equilibrium. There is no equilibrium. Always we write this, this sign, just like salt, the ionizes 100%. Net ionic equation for a strong base, a strong acid is water formation. Hydrogen ion plus hydroxyl ion will form H2O. So this is the net ionic equation will be in case of strong acid and strong base. So in the next uh, uh, video we will study that how we are going to calculate the pH in strong acid and strong base neutralization.